Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking to you about my new setup that I got for Christmas recently. Uh, I have a video coming up of my first impressions when I actually wrote it. Uh, this is quite a big change from my other setup videos. I know most of them are quite uneventful, uh, but this time I have a lot of new stuff that I've added to the board. So I'm just going to let... Uh, myself talk about just what the components are for a sec and then I'm gonna go to the other video and y'all can see my first impressions. So the deck is a Madrid Harry Clark Pro model. This is the Snitch, the Quill graphic. Um, it's pretty sick. I just did a video on it recently and I just got some stickers on it. Uh, of some of the stuff that's on the board. Uh, then for the trucks, I got the new Smokies from 2020 and they're pretty sick. And then I've got uh, Spaceballs bearings and 74A 78 millimeter Magnums from Venom. Uh, Rogers Bros studded hardware and a tall barrel foot stop made of a bushing. So, uh, Anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and let my uh, self from the future talk a little bit about it. And uh, one thing I did wanna show is just how turny this front truck is. It's a 50 degree truck, so you can see even when I do that, pretty high rebound, but you know, it's uh, very, very, turny and you can actually get a little wheel bite if you press it hard enough but um the back it's very very dead you got about that much turn so anyways uh yeah i'll let my self from the future go ahead and take over all right so i'm out here on christmas day I just did a run with the new setup. Uh, these are the new Smokies 2020. Uh, the lighting is great, by the way. Uh, and I just wanted to give my initial impressions on them as part of my setup review. The wheels are really, really soft and they're honestly a little bit better then the Cheetahs, they have the same contact patch. Uh, they're a millimeter taller. They're two Duros softer. They're 74A instead of 76. They're just super gummy. They just eat up all the bad stuff in the road. Uh, the deck is great. It tapers, so you get more leverage from the front. And then you also get that like three degree wedge in the front. That makes it pretty nice. Uh, by the way, it's 23 degrees out, so it's pretty cold. Uh, the trucks are definitely the biggest difference. Both the trucks and the bushings are very, very different. As you can see, the bushings are very soft and the trucks have a lot of rake. They have eight millimeters of rake, I think, which is way more than the three millimeters I had on the Paris V3s. And they're just really, really divey you can really feel the rake and it's nice because it makes it really divey at the beginning but once you go into that turn it gives you a little bit more of a linear turn to kind of counteract the bushing anyways the trucks are very different than i'm used to i can definitely feel the split degree it's a 50 20 split so it's quite a lot i definitely feel that the bushings are very different. Uh, it came with an extra harder bushing for the front, which I was very quick to put on. So I'm running 78, 71, something like that in the front and 95, 97 in the back. So quite a big difference. I'd never ran this loose of bushings before. Last time I was running an 87 Eliminator 90 barrel. Uh, these are tall barrels, so they have a little bit more range of motion, but they're also a little bit more restrictive than barrels. Not even really restrictive, they just have more bushing to be compressed, which is nice. 
but it's definitely weird to get used to the very sensitive front. It's actually not too bad, but you know, it's all in all, pretty good. As you can see, it's super, super responsive, even at low speeds.